Hey there, it's David H. Lawrence the 17th, and uh, I, I'm sure that somewhere near you, you have one of these, a mobile phone. Um, I'm not so sure whether or not near you is one of these, a landline phone. I thought that I was one of the last people in the world that had one of these beauties. Um, at the very least, one of the last people in the world that had a POTS version of a landline, and I'll get to that in just a second, P-O-T-S. Um, and I found out that it's not as bad as I thought, but it's heading in that direction. And by bad, I mean change, getting rid of something that is something I'm used to. Not necessarily bad, but it just is what it is. So that is a chart of uh, that was put together by Statista about the change uh, of how many mobile phones there are versus how many landlines there are. And it goes from like around just past 2000 to the present. And you can I don't even need to share the numbers with you. You can see that there's been a definite cross happened around 2017, 2018, where there are now far more mobile phones than there are landlines. In our business, it feels like there's even less landlines than there are uh, than there are mobile phones. But this is this is the general population. And by the way, this chart was commissioned by uh, or or created because of a study commissioned by the CDC, the Centers for Disease Control. And the reason that they commissioned this study is because they were concerned that people would not be able to dial 911 during medical emergencies because mobile phones weren't capable of getting the 911 system. That's changing. It's almost completely changed over so that you can do that with uh, your phone, not only via a voice call, but also via text. So everything's kind of changing, but we're losing a lot by giving up our landlines. Um, we have a... Uh, uh, I have a fondness for the quality and the stability of a POTS landline. And by the way, POTS stands for Plain Old Telephone System, as opposed to VoIP or VOIP, which is Voice Over Internet Protocol. POTS is analog. It's over copper wires. It's kind of hard to hack. And voice over IP is digital, and it's not so hard to hack, and it's becoming almost impossible to get POTS lines. Uh, POTS lines were the old, like the 120 plus year old telephone system that you would dial up, you know, Martha and Mount Pilot and get through to somebody over a copper wire. And there were many, many copper wires going to the phone company central office and then You'd go out from there. Today, it's all being done over the same lines that your internet is provided to you over, that your television is provided to you over, your telephone is provided to you over. And even my phone, I had to give up my POTS line if I wanted to get better internet service in my condo because there was a limited number of lines. So I did, reluctantly. Um, but the idea that some people have never heard of a landline, younger people, uh, and some people like me are kind of sad that landlines are going by the wayside. Um, the problem is mobile phones don't sound as good as landlines. Uh, voice over IP sounds pretty good. It actually sounds uh, almost studio quality, not quite, but it can sound really, really good. In fact, when voice over IP was first created, it kind of startled people. Remember Vonage? Uh, remember when when voice over IP was like declared illegal by some countries because it got around their their phone uh, tariff regulations and the government started losing money because people weren't using the regular phone system. They were making Skype calls and that's voice over IP for all intents and purposes. But the problem is because more and more people are using it, uh, the standards and the quality of voice over IP is gradually dropping. And what I was about to complete my thought with was when voice over IP was first introduced, it was so much better than that classic telephone quality that you hear when you listen to the caller talk on a talk show, that kind of very narrow range frequency response between, here's a geeky thing, 300 hertz and 3000. That's the that's the, the frequency range of a telephone, of an old telephone. 
Um, but voice over IP is filled with digital dropouts and glitches and heterodyning and fuzzing and God knows what. Um, it'll get better over time. The technology will get better over time. But I just, I really miss the idea that um, that POTS lines are getting harder and harder. The, the phone company doesn't want to put them in. The phone company doesn't want you to have them. So there you go. I, I don't know whether I, uh, I made any point here whatsoever. I guess I'm just, you know, sad that that chart we just saw is such a direct crossover and bye bye to POTS lines within the next decade or so. I don't know. I don't know what's going to happen there. Who knows? Uh, do you still have a POTS line? Let me know in the comments below. Do you still treasure your POTS line? Do you know how quality oriented it is and how stable it is? And how if your internet goes out, your POTS line telephone won't go out, right? That's, that's an issue. So leave me a comment below. If you're watching this on YouTube, pop over to vo2gogo.com. That's where the commentary is sane and moderated and there's no haters or trolls. And we make all of our phone calls on POTS lines. No, we don't. Come on, you. You, come on. You're good, you. Uh, and if you'd like to subscribe, I don't know. If you'd like to subscribe to my YouTube channel, uh, go ahead and click on my head there. If there's no head, look for a subscribe button. Click on that. If you want to see my latest episode, go ahead and click on that frame and YouTube will play it for you. I'm David H. Lawrence, the 17th. I thank you so much for watching and I'll talk to you tomorrow. Click.